Hey, Coach. So I had a question about how to maintain uh, consistency uh, at a high level throughout your career. Is there any advice you could give me on how to maintain that consistency? Well, I guess if I was um, what I referred to before, I guess I'm just paranoid. <laughs> That means I always think somebody's out to get me. So that means I always am really focused on what's going to happen next. And, but um, I, I just think that you've got to be a perfectionist of, of sorts. And you have to have a very high standard of how you want to do things. Not really what somebody else wants you to do them, but you want to do them. So, and you're willing to stay focused on the process of things that you have to do to be able to do that. And then you also have to have the discipline to be able to stay with it every day and execute it. Because that's probably the hardest thing any of us have to do is, I mean, just think of probably everybody in this room has been on a diet at some point in time, right? So, um, you know, you got the goal, you want to lose 10 pounds, you got slim fast, they tell you everything you can eat, you know, every day. But where do you fail? The process is defined, the goal is defined, three days in you're eating pie and ice cream again. I mean, so we don't have the discipline to, self-discipline, you know, to do the things you need to do on a consistent basis to sort of keep doing things at a high level. And I think routine, if you can establish a routine of consistency, you know, that builds confidence that if I do these things a certain way at a certain time and I'm doing it at a certain level, I'm, I'm going to be successful. And you sort of buy into that process and you buy into that. And I think that helps you do the things you need to do to be successful. So, you know, but we all have this thing about, okay, I'm only gonna do so much. You know, it's called self-imposed limitations. We all have self-imposed limitations. If I work from nine in the morning till five o'clock, that's really all I'm willing to do to be successful. That, that's my buy-in. There's a limitation to it. I'm not going to do everything I need to do to be successful. Um, so in my own mind, this is the level of commitment. So you should have the same expectation for the level of success and consistency and performance that you have. Because it is hard. I, and everybody doesn't want to do hard. I mean, just like, talk about our season. You talk about having a successful season. You know how hard it is to practice on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, play a game on Saturday, come back and watch the film on Monday and go practice again and get ready for another opponent and do it for 12 weeks in a row and, and do it at a, consist, a level of consistency where you've got to give great efforts, you've got to have great mental toughness, and you've got to have a tremendous amount of discipline to stay focused on being responsible to do your job, not only for yourself, but everybody else is dependent on you too. How do you sustain that? You know, you, you, you got to be someone who's got a really high standard for how they want to do things. Now, you try to establish that in the culture that you're trying to build, and you have expectations, and you don't accept things uh, that aren't done in a certain fashion, but it's harder and harder to do that because people have more and more options, and the more and more options you have, the less committed you are. You know, the Romans took the cliff of Dover's when they tried and tried and tried and tried, and the captain says, hey, we're burning the ships today. So there is no means to retreat. How many of us really make those kind of commitments to the things that we do? We're gonna only do it to a certain level, and we're gonna have self-imposed limitations, I call it, on just how much are we really willing to commit to? So you wanna be successful, get paranoid, I think that somebody's after you every day and somebody's going to get your job if you don't do it better. Maybe that'll get you going. Yeah.